Hello, Jen here with a book video for you. This is part of the Bookless Thursday series. Uh, that is a series that's put on every Thursday by Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand, Lindsay from Lindsay's Little Library, and Lisa from Books and Smiles. All their links will be down below, so go check them out. Uh, basically, they've created a series where they come up with some prompts every Thursday, and then they share with you five books based on that prompt. And Lisa had to take a step back for a little bit because she's got a pretty full schedule. And so I sent Sarah a message and said, if you're looking for a guest, I would love to participate in a couple of your book list Thursdays. And so she sent me a few of the prompts that are coming up and I picked a couple of them. And here I am. So the first prompt that I thought would be a lot of fun that I picked is my five star predictions. If you've been following their series, they've done this a few times where they've gone through their stash of books, picked out five books that they are pretty sure are going to be a five star read for them, shared that with you, and then a few months later after they've had the opportunity to read all of those books, they come back and let you know what they thought. So I love this idea. I know I have a ton of five-star reads on my shelves that I just need to get to, and this is the perfect motivation for it. So let me share with you my five-star prediction books. My first five-star prediction is Paper Butterflies by Lisa Heathfield. I uh, picked this book up based on recommendation from Elena from Elena Reads. I actually won it through a Goodreads giveaway which was really exciting. Uh, but just the way that Elena described it and she really enjoyed it, it made me wanna run out and get it. It's this beautiful cover. I know there's a glare coming from my window here so you can't really see, but it's this gorgeous sort of eggplant purple color. And I don't know, I just really was attracted to it. And the story sounds so good. So basically it is a story about June who, does not have a very good home life. Um, something has happened with her stepfather. I'm not 100% sure what it was. Um, it says here, June's life at home with her stepmother and stepsister. Sorry, stepmother, not stepfather. Um, stepmother and stepsister is a dark one, a secret one. Not even her dad knows the truth, and she can't find the words to tell anyone else. She's trapped like a butterfly in a net. And basically, she comes to meet a boy named Blister, and he has this big, loving, caring family. And I think that she starts to spend a lot of time with him, and by doing that, it helps her to work through the issues that she has with her own family. I could be a little bit off on that, but I, I that's the gist that I get from this book, and I'm really excited. Again, Elena gave it five stars. And she just really talked very passionately about it. So I'm excited to, to get into this one. The next one I have, these are in no particular order. I'm just grabbing them. The next one I have is this one here. This is Sharper Objects by Gillian Flynn. This has been on my shelf for a very, very long time. It is just a like cheap mass market paperback but I've had it forever, like probably, well, let's see here. It came out in 2006, and I've probably had it that long. I'm, I, I can't even remember when I bought it. It's been a very long time. I have never read a Gillian Flynn book. I own Gone Girl. I have not seen the movie. I don't really have an interest in reading it, and the longer that we go on without me reading it, the less and less interest I have. But I've always wanted to read this one. It always gets a lot of recommendations. People always tell me that it's their favorite of um, of her books and that I will I would really enjoy this one. And now that the series is out, the mini series, um, yeah, I really wanna get to it. So I'm not 100% sure what it's about. Um, but the reason that people always recommend it to me is because I have a degree in psychology and I think it is about a girl who has had a stay in a mental hospital or has psychological issues and, um, I don't know if some girls go missing or if they're murdered and she's sort of possibly suspected. She acts really strange and so a lot of people in her hometown might think that she has something to do with it. 
it just sounds really good. It's right up my alley. It's the kind of book I love. So I think it's going to be a five star for me. My next five star prediction is a first we were four. I've heard some really good things about this. I have read Alexandra Soroe before. I've read The Telling and I've read The Creeping. I enjoyed them. They weren't five stars, but um, just from the people that I've heard recommending this book, I think that this one might make that five stars. We'll see. So from what I gather, this is about a group of four friends who kind of start a secret society and they have you know, rules like we don't lie, we never tell anything we're, we're doing in the group. Uh, and slowly, more and more people want into their group and they lose control a little bit, I think. It kind of gets out of hand and uh, all of the rules get broken and all of her books seem to take place in little seaside towns. And so I really like that kind of um, dynamic of the small town because I... When I was a teenager, I lived in a town of 600 people, and so I really get what it's like to live in a place where everybody knows your business, and yeah, so I like that dynamic of her books, and I think that this is going to be a good one. I kind of like that whole secret society thing, so... We'll see how this one goes. So my next five star prediction is 10. Again, I'm sorry about that glare. Let's see if we can make this work. Here we go. This is by Gretchen McNeil. And what I've heard about this book is that it's kind of like Agatha Christie versus or mixed in with Gossip Girl. So it's a group of teenagers who are going out to this island. They plan to have a really great weekend there of, you know, just partying and fun. And then people start dying. And so, oh, and I think there's also a storm coming. There's always that extra element, right? So there's a storm coming and people are dying and they can't figure it out. And so this awesome, fun party weekend turns into this horrible, terrifying nightmare weekend. I love stuff like this. I love um, TV shows like this. Like, did you guys ever watch Harper's Island? I loved that. It's so classic and full of tropes and, you know, all of that stereotypical stuff, but it just gets to me. So um, I have a feeling that I'm going to love this. It's very much the, um, you know, whodunit kind of mystery you have to figure out who's doing all that killing and why. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be close to a five-star read for me. Yeah. My fifth five-star read is The Rabbit Hunter by Lars Kepler. They're a Swedish uh, married couple that write together under the, pseudon the pseudonym Lars Kepler. And The Rabbit Hunter is the sixth book in the Unalina series. I love this series. Um... I am a sucker for that very stereotypic detective, you know, tragic background, hard to get along with, um, brilliant mind, but doesn't really work well with others, follows his own rules, you know, everyone would consider him a rogue detective, but when the really, really bad cases hit, the ones that you know, are heart-wrenching or really weird and twisted. Um, they always call him in because he's the one with the type of mind that's going to solve them. I love that kind of stuff. Again, it probably all goes back to the psychology degree, and it's just, it's just what I love. So this is a series um, where Unalina is that type of detective, and the cases are quite graphic. Um, Lars Kepler, certainly this couple does not hold back. Um, and I've loved all five of the books and I know I'm going to love this next book. I'm really excited to get my hands on it. It's not actually out in Canada until 2020. So I'm getting my copy from Book Depository. I've been watching over the last two years as it keeps getting released in all of these other European countries and all the cover releases for it and I've been waiting for this English translation so I can get my hands on it um, and I think it's going to be really good so hopefully it shows up soon and I will be able to read it. I, I They're huge books. They're really big and chunky but 
I know I will probably pick it up and I won't put it down until I'm done. <laughs> so, And that's it. Those are my five star predictions for this round. I will definitely let you know how it turns out. I'm pretty excited to read all of these and hopefully they all live up to the expectations that I have. I'd love to know what have been some of your recent five-star reads, so you can leave those for me down below, along with any questions you might have about the books that I talked about. And please go check out Sarah and Lindsay's videos because they are always full of really, really great recommendations. Um, if you have found my channel through them. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And to everyone else, thank you as well. We'll talk to y'all later. Happy reading. Bye.